Welcome to Pe Preview Piedmont. I'm Brenda Boonstra, Director of Undergraduate Admissions. We are so glad you are here. Today is an opportunity to find out more about Piedmont College and the opportunities that we have. You're going to be receiving a packet of information. In it is going to be our view book, which lists all of our majors in the front, all of our graduate majors in the back, as well as information about res life, um, athletics, our geographical area, things like that. There will also be a focus magazine. This is just sort of an annual publication showing a research, um, opportunities, publications of faculty, staff, and students. I'm also going to be sending you this awesome t-shirt, so be watching your mail for a packet from Piedmont College. Now let me introduce you to your tour guide. Hi, I'm Kat. I am a sophomore nursing major and I will be class of 2023. So this is our dining hall. So in our dining hall, we actually have six different stations. We have a home style station that's like Southern Middle Georgia type of food. We have a grill station that's hamburgers, chicken, fries. We have an Italian section. We have a make your own sandwich section. And our favorite is the G8. It's free of the top eight allergens that are most common. Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm a junior criminal justice major here and I run track. This is the Piedmont College Bookstore where you'll have all your books and academic needs. They also have plenty of Piedmont gear to keep you stocked for the semester. So this is our rock wall. It's part of our fitness center. Uh, we actually have a rock wall club to go with it. We have a section that's an automatic ballet, or if you're feeling adventurous, you can ballet with somebody else and have them actually hold you. Um, the rock wall gets changed every two to three weeks, and so then that way there's always a new adventure for you to climb up to. This is the fitness center. This is for all your exercise needs. We have plenty of free weights and machines. We also have treadmills and ellipticals and an indoor running track. So this is our quad. People will come to hang out, they'll study out here, we'll put little groups together. But we also have CAB, our campus activity board. Everything they put on is free. And so they like to make really good use of our quad and put on most of their events here. This is Daniel Hall on the first floor that uh, houses our financial aid office. On this second floor right here, it houses offices such as the registrar's office, the student council office, and also HR's office. So let's go meet the president. 
Hey, Dog Militant, would you like to speak to our preview Pete my guest? Hey there. Welcome to this uh, virtual uh, tour for our preview Piedmont guests. I've got Lola and Mamie here, uh, and when you're on campus for real, stop by and see the dogs. Third floor Daniel Hall holds, holds many uh, teachers' uh, offices. It also has many large classrooms on this side. And over here you have your smaller classrooms where you have some classes. So this is the fourth floor of Daniel. It's actually the floor for our RH School of Nursing and Health Sciences. And we're gonna go meet Dr. Bear in the Skills Lab. And she's gonna talk a little bit about our nursing program and health sciences. Hey, Dr. Bear. This is Dr. Bear. She's our Dean for Nursing and Health Sciences. You're welcome. So this is the RH Daniel School of Nursing and Health Sciences, and we've got quite a few programs, so I'm not sure what your interests are, but we definitely have a nursing program, and what I'm here doing today is just kind of setting up a little bit for one of our labs. As you can see, we've got mannequins, we've got a simulation room here on this floor, you can kind of take a look around here and see the mannequins go wrong here. We do most of our stuff on hands-on as much as we possibly can. We have another lab that we do health assessment in for our nursing program. And of course, you probably have already done your research and know that our nursing program is one of the top rated nursing programs in the state of Georgia. But if nursing is not your thing, we have other programs. We have athletic training, which we have now moved to the master's level. We also have cardiovascular technology, the only one in the state of Georgia that's a baccalaureate approved program. And we've got a couple of other majors in health sciences that might be of interest as well. So I'm glad you stopped by. Have a great rest of your day. Hey guys, let's head over to Stuart Hall. This is Stuart Hall. It homes many of our math and sciences. Also, it uh, has been classrooms for our general education classes. It is also the home of Stuart Auditorium. So let's look around. Oh, well, how are you doing, Dr. Nimala? You would like to speak to our preview team, my students? Well, sure. Hi. How are you doing? Um, my name is Steve Nimmo. I'm the Dean for the School of Arts and Sciences. And uh, let me just tell you a little bit about our school. Um, we have probably about 40 majors, um, ranging from anything in the humanities, social sciences, natural sciences, fine arts, uh, mass communications. Um, there's quite a few different types of things that students can major in. And uh, certainly one of the hallmarks that we have in arts and sciences would be um, our faculty and how they're very hands-on. Um, they're here because they love to teach. Um, they work very closely with our students. Um, the, uh, the other aspect I think that you'll find in arts and sciences is almost the general education courses but And um, our faculty really take that seriously. It's uh, an important part of the education that we deliver at Piedmont. Uh, it's the portion that um, helps prepare students for um, all the other courses, but I think more importantly, preparing them for life after college. Um, many students, when they graduate, are going to have a different job, and they may have to retrain to do some other job after they leave. And being able to make that kind of transition from one job to another 
um, is critical down the road, and our general education courses are a large part of that makes that very possible for our students. All right, thank you, Dr. Nemo. I hope you have a good day. My pleasure. Yes, sir. Uh, let's look around Stewart Hall for a second. Hey, welcome to the top, top floor of Stewart. Stewart holds up to 12 labs. These include chemistry, biology, physics, and anatomy. As you see here, we have a map of where all our biology graduates have went in their respective career fields. All right, now let's go see one of those labs. Welcome to our Student Success Center. Uh, this is home for many different types of study halls. Uh, it's also home to ORS, our Office of Accessibility, Resources, and Services. Uh, they also have different career services here and counseling here also. So let's go back and talk to Ms. Lisa Mann. Hey, Ms. Mann, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hi, welcome to Career Services. My name is Lisa Mann, and um, welcome to Piedmont. We're glad you're here. And just want to give you a little bit of information about my department. So. Career Services is here to help you all four years while you're at Piedmont. Our goal is to help you find the best major um, based on your interests and your great abilities um, and help you use that to build all these amazing experiences and gain skills. So you've got a great resume uh, and lots of good content um, to talk about during interviews uh, so that ultimately you can get the best job or get into the best graduate school. In addition, I can help you with learning how to build your LinkedIn account networking and ultimately just networking with industry professionals so some of the things that we do out of my office too are uh, we go on campus to career where i take you actually to businesses so that you can meet and greet and see what a day in the life looks like um, and then also we have great career fairs so come and see me whenever you're back on campus uh, we'd love to help in any way possible enjoy your day and hopefully we will see you soon bye Hey, welcome. I'm Christy Kishut. I'm the Director of Student Transition Success. Wanted to show you around a little bit. Um, in these rooms, uh, we offer SNAP groups, which stands for Seeking New Academic Potential. Uh, they are small student uh, peer-led uh, groups um, for our biologies, our chemistries, um, some of our math courses. Um, here we're heading back into the Learning Center. Um, in the Learning Center, we offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring. We also offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring um, online via remote. Right now, you'll see a lot of the students that are in here uh, are in here for study halls. So a lot of the coaches require study hall hours. Um, they sign in here, and some of them are anywhere from two hours a week to five hours a week. So we have, this is actually our old gym, which is kind of exciting, so they get to spend a lot of time in here. Um, the other thing that we offer is we offer um, our SAIL program, which stands for Start, Achieve, Impact, and Leap. It's a freshman experience program. This year we welcomed 100 students. Um, some of the perks, you get to move in early, we get to go to a retreat uh, about 30 minutes north of here, and you also get paired with a mentor. So you'll meet with an upper class mentor for the entire fall semester um, and get paired with a faculty or staff captain. Um, if you need any help on Piedmont's campus, Get your foot in the front door of the Student Success Center and we will do everything we can to get you connected to the right people. Hey, so this is Arendelle Library. Um, we actually have four floors, however, we are currently standing on the third floor. We have a lot of computers that are socially distanced. Just in case you don't have one or if your laptop dies and you still have homework to do and you don't want to walk all the way back to your dorm. Something really cool that we have that's one of my favorite things is our Weepa machine. We actually use it for all of our printing. 
you get $25 a semester for both fall and spring. Fall will roll over to spring, but spring does not roll over into your next school year. There's three ways to upload to it. You can either plug in a USB drive, you can log into the machine, or you can get a one-time code to put in. If you get the one-time code to put in, you can get your paper and just grab it on the way to class. Now back here, we have current and popular reading fiction and a little area to kind of hang out and chill a little bit. We also have some tables here to study. And if you outlook this window, we have the largest protected wetlands in North Georgia. So a really cool thing about our wetlands is not only how large it is, but our biology department actually found a new species of salamander a few years ago in there, which I thought was pretty cool. To me, it looks like every other salamander, but the DNA composition is different, which is what makes it awesome. So then we also have back here a lot of the mangas that are current, as well as on the second and fourth floor, more study opportunities. The second floor has study rooms, and we have a TV, HDMI cables, and a DVD VHS player so that anything you need, you can plug in there and just lock yourself in or take a nap in there. The fourth floor outlooks are quad with a very large window above the top, and it's used for more of a group study space as well as a conference room that's in there too. Now we're going to go talk to Dean Tavernier, and he is our Dean for the School of Education. This is our education building that is currently being renovated. And this is Dean Tavernier. So can you tell us a little bit about the School of Education and what's going on in this building right now? Sure, Catherine. Happy to. Now, my name is Mark Tavernier, and I'm the Interim Dean for the School of Education. And welcome again to Piedmont College. Um, and here in the School of Education, we offer several degree programs. We offer a certification only option for teaching, also a bachelor's degree. We have a master's degree in teaching. We have an educational specialist program. And even in Piedmont, we offer a doctoral program in education, both in curriculum and studies and in educational leadership. What you see right now is our brand new School of Education building. It's actually uh, scheduled to open in about one month. And if you look around, this is where all of our courses will be housed. We've got a state-of-the-art STEM lab. We've got a lot of different classrooms of various sizes. Um, and we'll have an opportunity for um, other schools to meet here as well. Again, welcome to Piedmont. All right, well, thank you so much. Hey, so this is our Walker School of Business. Um, so it actually has seven concentrations, including a master's program that ends up giving us eight concentrations, as well as something that's really awesome about this, we have a conference that they go to every year to present some of their projects and some of their marketing aspects as well. Hey, Dr. Waller. Hi. So this is Dr. Waller. He's our dean for the Walker School of Business. Would you mind just telling our previous students a little bit about the school business? Sure. Uh, first, welcome to Piedmont. Uh, secondly, as Catherine was saying, you have a business program and you get to specialize in, in seven different concentrations. Uh, the first four are the big four uh, traditional business fields of management, marketing, accounting, and finance. And we have some more specialized recent additions to the curriculum, including a hospitality and tourism program out of our Athens campus, a logistics program for those who are looking to go into the manufacturing sector, 
and um, about business analytics for those who are looking to work with big data. Uh, next year, we hope to add digital marketing to your choices as well. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Enjoy. So now we're going to head into the conservatory of music to talk to Dr. Henson. He's the chair of the Fine Arts Department. Hi there, my name is Wallace Henson. I'm the director of the Conservatory of Music and welcome to our new conservatory. Uh, we have 27 brand new Steinway pianos. We're one of the few all Steinway schools in the region. And we have uh, state-of-the-art facilities for practice and performance. And we would love to show you around. So please come see us. So this is our Swanson Center. Let's go see what's inside. So this is the Swanson Center. We have mass comm and theater in here. And we're actually gonna head into the main stage theater and we're gonna talk to Dr. Blayman, who is our co-chair for our theater department. Hi, Dr. Blayman. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Welcome. So you found the Swanson Center just fine, I see. And what we have right here is our set for our upcoming production of Trojan Women. Um, Trojan Women is, uh, you know, takes place after the Battle of Troy and, you know, it's all desolate and so that's what you see here. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about being a theater major here at Piedmont. First thing, you live in this building all the time, right? Second thing you need to know is that we have several different majors for people who are interested in different aspects of theater. So we have a theater arts with a concentrations in acting and directing, theater arts degree with concentrations in design tech, 
a concentrations in theater for youth. We also have a drama education degree, which leads to certification in the state of Georgia. Um, and then we also have musical theater. And then we've got a, an int a really interesting degree, particularly at the undergraduate level, which is a BFA in uh, arts administration with a concentration in theater. So that's kind of where our students kind of fall. Um, and as I said, you live in this building uh, because you're here all the time. Students are working on every aspect of everything that goes on here. Um, students built this set, for example. Um, they also hung the lights. They also made the costumes. So you truly are involved in absolutely every aspect that we do here in theater. Well, thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your tour. So now we're actually going to go check out the Mass Communications Department. It's right across from the theater department. Hey! Hello! So we're doing a tour today. Yeah. And I wanted to know if maybe you could tell them a little bit about our Mass Communications Department. Absolutely. So our Mass Communications Department uh, has been around Piedmont for about 20 years now and what our goal is is to teach students um, a little bit of everything in the communications field. So as a Mass Comm student here or a Sports Comm student, another one of our majors, you'll learn how to write uh, for media, you'll learn how to produce audio, you'll learn how to produce video, you'll learn how to develop a website and you'll learn graphic design. Um, so when you graduate here, you'll get to, you'll know how to do it all and you'll get to promote those skills um, on a website you develop on your own. Um, and we have opportunities in student media uh, to pursue all of those areas. Thanks. This is the Smith Williams Art Studio. On the first floor, we have our 3D sculpting. On our second floor, we have photography and, and graphic design. And on the third floor, we have our drawing and painting foundations. This here is the Martin's Art Annex. In this building, we hold our etching and etching uh, machines, and, on, and we also have a 3D printer.
Hi, my name is David Formack. I'm assistant athletic director here at Piedmont College as well as our head women's soccer coach. We have 23 intercollegiate athletic programs here at Piedmont, many of them competing as you can see right out here today. We appreciate you joining us today and we hope to see you very soon on our beautiful Denver's campus. Thank you for coming on a campus tour today. We hope to see you soon here at Piedmont.